Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about writing formula and naming of ionic compounds. Recall that ionic compounds are metal ion plus non-metal ion. The metal ion carries a positive charge and this is known as cation. The non-metal ion carries a negative charge and this is known as anion. All compounds, not only ionic compounds, are composed of cation and anion. In writing ionic compound formulas, every element has their own ionic charge. So here is the table of elements with its corresponding ionic charge. We notice that in group 1A, the ionic charge of each element is 1 plus or plus or positive. In group 2A, the ionic charge of each element is 2 plus. In group 3A, we have 3 plus. Group 4A, we have either 2 plus or 4 plus. In group 5A, we have 3 minus. In group 6A, we have 2 minus. Lastly, in group 7A, we have 1 minus or just minus or negative. It is easy to formalize because there is a trend. Mostly, for metals or cation, their group number is also their ionic charge. Well, for an ion, their group number minus 8 is their ionic charge. For transition metals, the ionic charge of the elements in group 1B is either 1 plus or 2 plus. For group 2B, it is 2 plus. And for group 6B, 7B, and 8B, it is either 2 plus or 3 plus. In naming ionic compound, it is the combination of name of metal plus the root name of non-metal and ends with IDE. If we pair magnesium and nitrogen, then we have an ionic compound named magnesium nitride. Then if we write magnesium nitride compounds formula we have the superscript is the ionic charge of the element. When they combine to form a compound, the ionic charge of an ion becomes the subscript of the cation and the ionic charge of a cation becomes the subscript of the anion. This method is known as crisscross. As the name suggests, the ionic charge crisscross with each other. So we have... Okay, for another one. If we pair calcium and oxygen, its ionic compound name would be calcium oxide. Then if we write the compound's formula we have, then crisscross the charges we have. But we can reduce this by dividing the subscript by 2. So we have, okay, and another one. If we pair iodine and cadmium, its ionic compound name would be cadmium iodide. Then if we write the compound's formula we have, then crisscross the charges we have. Metals in group 1A, 2A, and 3A are known as monatomic ions, meaning they are ions only consisting of one atom and the rest metals are known to form more than one monatomic ion so here is a table showing the list of metals with their systematic name and common name in naming this compound you just use either the systematic name or compound name plus the root name of non-metal and ends in ide the thing inside the parenthesis is the ionic charge of the metal in Roman numeral. Hence, in writing formula of this ionic compound, is made easy because the charge of cation is given. For example, write the formula for tin fluoride. So we have, then use crisscross method we have. The common name of this compound is stainless fluoride. 
another example. What is the name of the compound? We know that iodine's ionic charge is 1 minus and chromium ionic charge is either 2 plus or 3 plus. We notice that the subscript of iodine is 3, so the superscript of the chromium would be 3 plus. Hence, the name of the compound would be chromium iodide. The common name would be chromic iodide. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.